Hello, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Dubai Watch Week. Here we are at the booth of MBNF with none other than Maximilian Buster. He is the MB in the MBNF himself in flesh with us here. So thank you for having us in the booth, Max. How was Dubai Watch Week so far for you and how do you like this year's edition? Uh, I think this year's edition has gone like stratospheric <laughs> compared yeah. to the, the previous one was already one of the best shows in the world. Yeah. Today, Dubai Watch Week is the best watch show in the world for real watch lovers. Yeah. And um, it's not a B2B, yeah. it's a B2C. It's about brands sharing with lo their love with their collectors. Yeah. There is nothing like this in the world today. I agree with you, I agree. I've been to all of them so far as well. I mean, you've been to plenty of watch fairs also around the world. And I think the feeling I get here as a person is the best one. Um, and the people are happy. We haven't traveled for a long time, so it's nice to see collectors. I've seen many people with MBNFs around us. Yeah, we've got a we've got a good, really amazing following. But also, as you said, a lot of collectors came from everywhere. Yeah, I've got collectors from the U.S. and from yeah. Asia who are going to have to do quarantine to go back. But they're like, wow. I don't care. I want to be here. From Europe, uh, collectors from everywhere yeah. who just needed to have that physical contact with the watches yeah. and with us. And the and people. So, exactly. What's nice is that, as you know, everybody hangs out. Yeah. So we've got our booths. But we're outside in yeah. the sun, it's just the right temperature, having a little coffee, talking with friends and love, <laughs> watch lovers. I, it's, it's the high point of my, every two years for me. Absolutely. And you, you don't want to go to Switzerland now, it's one degree. So. What is Switzerland? Where is Switzerland? <laughs> what do you mean? What is that? <laughs> now we got to go back soon and it's going to be uh, snowy probably, but we'll take advantage of the Dubai sun. So this year, or just a few days ago, basically, you introduced a very new piece, a new concept, I would say, for the watchmaking world because you, I think, bridge the gap between independent watchmaking like yourself and a big group brand. Um, I mean, you've established this already with Harry Winston back in the day, combining just amazing people together. And this was a surprise to me when I heard the name Bulgari, but when I saw it, it makes absolute sense. So please introduce this new beauty to the world here for us to so, see. So um, the Flying Tea Allegra, yeah. which we introduced two days ago, yeah. um, was created in Dubai Watch Week. That is why I wanted wow. to be launched in Dubai Watch really? Week. So four years ago at Dubai Watch Week, I meet for the first time Fabrizio Bonamassa, the yeah. genius designer, head designer yeah. of Bulgari. Uh, I just go and say, hello, I'm Max, I love what you do. Yeah. And uh, we go and have a coffee. And while we're having coffee, he starts sketching because he sketches all the time. Really, and, yeah? uh, and so I was like, I oh, wouldn't it be cool if you and I, we could do something together. And, and he started sketching all, there was no flying team those days. Yeah. And it was a, just one of the great moments of that year for me. Yeah. And, but of course it was just a fantasy. And then two years later, we're back in Dubai Watch Week. <laughs> We're going to have breakfast with Fabrizio and he's accompanied by Antoine Pain, who is then the new managing director of the timepiece division yeah. of Bulgari. And he sees us like kids, like sketching, oh, we could do that, yeah, we could yeah. do this. And like, he's looking at us and at some point he's like, okay guys, let's yeah. do this. Like, wow. Both of us like, really? Bulgari MBNF, we can do this? <laughs> he says, yeah, let's do this. Is that possible? <laughs> and so we, and of course he spoke then afterwards to Jean-Christophe Baba, who said immediately, go, let's do this. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Tribute to all of these people in a big mega brand. This is yeah. a mega brand. Yes. Uh, and uh, and they said, yeah, it's a beautiful idea. Let's do it. Oh. And what's amazing? This is a this is a Zoom lockdown project, meaning we really started on the project. Yeah. Unfortunately, at the moment of lockdown. And uh, I remember of this Zoom where you had the whole creative team of uh, of Bulgari with Fabrizio, and we were on another Zoom, and we said, look, I said, guys, I've created the flying T. Yeah. The flying T is my love letter to my wife, to my daughters. I'm not a jeweler, yeah. I'm a watchmaker. So would you like to work on it? And they said, okay, let's do it. While we're talking, I see Fabrizio, as usual. <laughs> Silently sketching away. Yeah? And at some point, he's, uh, he just shows the paper and he goes, what do you think of that? And you're like, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, cool. <laughs> let's do that. Wow. And it was the Allegra on concept. The spot, Allegra right? means joy. Yeah. This is a watch I created for love, and they brought the joy. And, uh, oh, wow. and so what was really interesting is that people have been telling me over the last two days, like, ah, Bulgari, big brand. Yeah. It's a big brand, a which is probably one of the most it. creative brands yeah. out there. 
they create all the time. I mean, I'm not even talking about all the octo finis where every year they come out with one new piece. And every but time all the they high win jewelry pieces all the and they have. We, we often in this industry bitch that some of the big players are not very creative. Yeah. Look at what Bulgari does. They're yes. constantly creating. Very, very. And uh, so they're a big organization who loves to create. I'm a miniature organization whose life is about creating. Yeah. And it just clicked. But I think at the beginning it was a story between Fabrizio Bonamassa and me. Yeah. And it became a story between both of our companies. And then we discovered incredible things. So if we look at this piece, um, um, this is our flying tee. This is our original mm -hmm. flying tee yeah. with, um, with the uh, central flying tourbillon, which is actually a Actually, awesome. it's, it's my younger, elder now daughter, um, who's um, uh, loved to be a ballet dancer. So she's actually doing a ballet on the on the scene. You've got the sun at the back, which is the symbol of the women in my life, and I, I gyrate around them today. And this is the rotor, which actually makes it work. <laughs> and this dial at seven o'clock, because if I'm going to give it to my wife as a yeah. gift, only she can read the time. Yeah. So that's the initial concept. And Fabrizio redesigned actually the whole piece you don't realize because it's got the same dome but he redesigned completely the case because he wanted to look like a, a spaceship yeah because he said you guys do spaceships let's do so he took the lugs off made the miniature underneath ah, and you yeah. got like a floating 1950 spaceship yeah, yeah. and on top of that he put the allegra concept which is these like floating planets which seemingly turn around the tourbillon yeah. seemingly and as he was saying in all the interviews I've shared with him, he said like, we are the specialists of ultra thin watches. He said, I was so frustrated. I could never put big yeah. stones. For the first true, time, true, true. Max and his MBNF piece allowed me to put incredibly beautiful big stones yeah. protected. And so he true. designed that. Everything has been recreated. I mean, except for the movement, yeah. it's the same. Now, what did we discover as we're going? The hands on our flying tees are this squiggly shape i'm gonna say they date back to the late 18th centuries in pocket watches mm -hmm. do you know how we used to call those hands serpentine hands serpentine like a snake huh? yeah what is the most iconic piece of bulgari Serpent. Serpent, yeah. wow no oh, okay no brainer <laughs> i told you about the rotor which is a sun yeah it's actually inspired for me by um I say a uh, Louis XIV mirror, which you find in Versailles, with okay. a domed mirror with this. Uh, I always loved it. We discovered that at Bulgari, they've got pendants with exactly the same design, but in 2D. <laughs> and maybe I was inspired by Bulgari, and I thought I was being inspired by Versailles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so all these different things made that this project was the most seamless collab in my history of collabs. Once it started, just, it just everything clicked. Whoop, went through. Everybody was so cool, so nice, wanted to make this happen. We were all in, in COVID mode. Yeah. It, there was no ego. It's very, yeah. collabs can be complicated yeah. because of ego. Um, you, you, you need it, uh, don't get me wrong. I've got ego, uh, you yeah. don't do what I have <laughs> if I don't have ego. But you need ego, but you need empathy. Yes. Which means that you're ready to put yourself in the shoes of the other guy yeah. and say, oh, I wouldn't have done that. Yeah. But yeah, let's do that. Without you as well. Uh, and the result is, is there. And um, we're honestly, we're both of us really, really happy. And this comes in two different variations, right? Is it rose gold and uh, exactly. white gold? Exactly. Yeah. Rose gold and white gold, 20 Beautiful. pieces of each. Yeah. That was interesting. That's the only point where it became a bit interesting. Um, interesting, a bit complicated. They have 215 boutiques. <laughs> so um, well, can you make a 50 to 100 pieces? pieces? <laughs> Guys, yeah. I make 200 pieces a year. Yeah. I can't give you 100 pieces of flying tea. That half, is never going to happen. Half of the year production for this. So we actually, we used to do about 20 flying teas a year. Yeah. We increased to 40, so yeah. 20 and 20. And uh, that's already 20% of my yearly production. Yeah. And it takes 12 to 14 months to make one. So, um, so they understood, but they were like, we've got 215 boutiques, we're you're giving us 20 watches. Because they're getting half of them. But, and of course, gotcha. they were all completely, immediately sold out. Sold out. Then, yeah. Um, so it was, um, it was it was a beautiful project because I think it opens the, the idea that yes, you can do collabs not only between us small guys. Yeah. If a big brand has the vista, yeah. the curiosity, the intellectual appetite, they can try and challenge and try do something which is amazing. Yeah. And I'll just finish on one thing which beautiful. really hit me in the last couple of months but I didn't realize and you actually mentioned it 
20 years ago, exactly 20 years ago, yeah. Harry Winston, the jeweler, launched a piece with a virtually unknown French watchmaker called François Paul Jour. Yeah. Who was who? called who? Jour, <laughs> uh, and it was called Opus One. Yeah. I was the jeweler. François Paul was the watchmaker. Voila. 20 years later, I am the watchmaker. Bulgari is the jeweler. Yeah, How insane chills, eh? is that? <laughs> There's no coincidences, it, sir. It's, I, as I was telling, all these different coincidences, I think all the stars were aligned. Yeah. And when I explained that to people today, they're like, oh, no brainer. But up till I explained that, I was like, Bulgari and MBNF? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just open your chakras. I mean, open your yeah. mind. There are all sorts of opportunities out there if you dare. Yeah. Maxwell, what, what else can I add? This was amazing. Thank you so much for taking the time. The watches are absolutely beautiful from the first ones to the new Bulgari edition. I hope to see more and I hope to see you doing stuff with maybe other brands. That which, will happen. Uh, that will happen. It huh? has to be the, the right moment, the right brand. And yeah. both brands have to bring something to the yeah. table. Absolutely. Because if one brand just takes all the space, it's not very interesting. So sure. it'll happen. No, don't sure, worry. Sure, don't sure. worry. There's a lot in the pipeline. I'll, I'll keep watching what you guys are doing. So guys, uh, if you haven't seen the other Dubai watching videos, make sure to do so. They're all in the playlist on the homepage as well. So you'll definitely see them there. Max, thank you so much for your time. I okay. wish you all the best and thank I'll you. see you around. See you around. Take care.